Hey guys, welcome back to Tales of Vesperia. Um, so, uh, last episode I had trouble doing a side mission. That's because I apparently can't do it anymore. Because I missed a key scene way back before we crossed the river to Torum Harbor. Uh, basically, before you enter Rigo's palace, uh, the one where, um, the one where you Raven tricks you again, or whatever, uh, Basically, before you go down into his little dungeon to go and save the kid, you had to go and uh, head back all the way to Aspio and get a little scene inside of Rita's room. Uh, unfortunately, that is stopping me from doing an entire side quest, and it's pissing me off because of it. It's the uh, side quest to get Judith uh, her spear back, uh, which is her best weapon in the game besides the uh, fell arm weapon, which everybody can get. Everybody can get a fell arm weapon. I'll explain those lot later when they come into play and uh, they're special in their own way but um, I'll still point out all the points you need to do to get Judith back her spear but unfortunately I will not be able to get it in this run first Zoggy second form and now this and apparently I can't walk through red fly through a pillar anyways um and now for another little less more of a technical glitch uh, my audio commentary here got a little messed up and I have to do this post commentated so this episode and uh, probably a couple a little bit I don't know how much more is going to be post commentated but uh, as an apology for missing the scene and screwing up the side quest we are going to go fight a uh, giganto monster that's what I was thinking of anyways uh, to do so you just want to head back to Mount Temza uh, you could have actually done this when you were first on Mount Temza but all you had to do was get to uh, the first scene with Judith then you could have just headed back and it's to the, near the entrance uh, so that's where we're going to go right now and uh, I'm just gonna head out I'm just heading out to save here quickly because it's a good idea to save before you fight a giganto monster they tend to be a little tough I don't know. It's just my personal opinion. <laughs> um, anyways, this giganto monster is an aerial one, so you want to have some air attacking moves with you when you do this one. Uh, there you can see him right there. Yay, and we're going to go and I fail at shooting. Yeah, we're just going to go straight into the battle. And uh, yeah, so magic lens. Magic Lens. And we got uh, a Uh, 168,000 hit points. I don't think he's that much tougher than Medusa Butterfly. Like, Medusa Butterfly was only level 45. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, as I said, this guy is an aerial one. And uh, actually, overall, I think he's a little bit easier than Medusa Butterfly and uh, uh, Hermit Drill. Uh, just because... Uh, by this point, he's not that much stronger than Medusa Butterfly, and you've probably gained a few more levels, like, Medusa Butterfly was level 45, and you've probably gained more than that uh, on, uh, Mount Temza alone, like, um, yeah, so I actually think, plus I did all that training in the desert, uh, <laughs> anyways, um, when he uses Overlimit, you should really back away, because he will spam attacks and just take you out quickly, and very painfully. Uh, and, uh, and ever again, my fight against, uh, Estelle and Resurrection continues. Instead of using, uh, Life Bottle, using Resurrection, wanting her to. Uh, there's Grand Chariot and Over Limits. I'm gonna try to pull off the uh, same strategy I used on my last one, and I used my first art. Yes. Yeah, so it's just another fight. Oh man, Arika Dashi is a really good move. I really like it. Um, Grand Chariot is a pretty good move as well. You'll see Estelle using it a lot. Uh, yeah, he's a bit of a jerk. <laughs> just like all of Gigantum. It's a lot harder post-commentating these things than it is. These these giganto monsters because you actually get real time tactics when you're not going through it. Uh, anyways, yeah, just stick to your uh, aerial attacks. Tiger blade works. Severing fang works. Um, yeah, 
avoid the ground attacks like uh, Shining Eagle wouldn't work. Or no, 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 Crushing Eagle? Shining Eagle? Whatever the one that where you stab the sword into the ground and it's that yellow circle around you, that one won't work at all against this guy. Uh, uh, I'm still trying to learn Azure Storm here. Uh, I think. Did I learn it in the last couple episodes? I might have. I can't remember now. <laughs> uh, I recorded this a while back. So. Um, yeah, he's he moves away in the air a lot, and he actually dodges a lot of attacks, and that gets kind of annoying. You just have to keep on it. Just keep slashing away at him, just like all the other gigantic monsters. Hmm. <clears throat> 